What's up guys, GPS here and today I just want to talk about AI, specifically AI art which is uh, you know very worrisome and uh, you're probably aware as well on how it's dominating the internet as of the moment. It's creating buzz all over the internet now because of how good it is and the actual potential of it uh, replacing human jobs across uh, multiple industries uh, like music, uh, journalism and especially art for me since it's my, actual, uh, it's my actual source of income. You can even see from websites like DeviantArt, uh, who are uh, one of the most respected art sites, have been flooded with AI art. And it's like they don't really care anymore uh, who posts with AI or not, uh, or if even uh, people actually tag their work correctly if it's AI or not. And they just simply go wild across all over the platform and it's just crazy. I think this happens because I think a lot of people now values more on what they can just uh, create in a snap rather than taking the journey of learning through it and you know accomplishing something uh, really hard. Uh, it's like nowadays we go crazy and addicted because of that dopamine hit, uh, because of the likes, uh, faves, uh, heart uh, uh, on our works, right? Uh, the shares, the followings, and all of that stuff that uh, we value more of those numbers rather than the human experience that we get from creating art and I think that's the most crucial part of what's happening now uh, because people tend to forget what it takes to be a legitimate artist or not just an artist or a painter but a uh, artist a human art human artist uh, even though you're a beginner or not or an expert doesn't matter but people seem to value more the numbers rather than the experience and I think that's the the most uh, worrisome for me at r right now on uh, what the uh, effects the bad effects of AI to us I think one of the things that I can suggest to you guys who are struggling about this as well is uh, that you create your videos of your works or creating a speed paint of it uploading works in progress of your work or even go back to traditional painting which is a much more rare medium nowadays and I think people will appreciate more the work that you have done if uh, they can see the le legitimacy and the journey behind it since currently if you will just uh, do what everyone does we're just uploading work where people won't people won't really distinguish whether it's an AI or not in the future so since as of now I think just spamming images of art and over time uh, we won't be able to distinguish those and which is AI or not uh, we'll just be around the corner and I think by creating a proof that uh, it was made by an actual human and not just an AI will create more value and appreciation to someone's work. It's actually similar on why people pay heftier price to products that are actually handcrafted rather than machine made because there is a human connection to it. Uh, there is an emotion and journey through it. It's something AI can replicate that human connection. But as of now, I think, to be honest, there is no stopping it. It just comes to a point in time where either you go with the flow or the inevitable flow or get left behind. Similar to what happens to traditional and digital arts before or like Nokia and Apple now, Canon and Kodak or Kodak before and Canon now. Uh, it just comes to a point in time where either, you know, just get left behind. But it should be heavily regulated by laws, uh, code of ethics, and probably some label regulations as well. I'm also trying to be optimistic about it as well, you know, since don't think that, you know, uh, dropping from art career didn't cross my mind and focus more on my previous field of work with, as an architect since I think this AI stuff got me really stressed out as well, uh, big time, you know, and Plus, I have a family, uh, kids uh, to support. It's it's really uh, stressful, if you ask me. I'm just trying to be uh, composed as much as possible and don't let the hate get into me because of this. But as I think about it over and over again, I try to remember why I pursue being an, an artist. And I try to remind myself on why I focus more on this pathway. And I'm really hoping that in the future, uh, you know, proper regulations will be put into place regarding this issue because uh, as of now, I think it's current state on how it is regulated, especially with all these uh, ethical issues surrounding it. 
uh, it definitely has to change and our community as well is so it's just so very small uh, not like the music or the Hollywood industry that has a lot of money you know to sue these companies uh, they I think this AI companies are really have double standards towards the art community and you know and I think they can just they think they can just trample and steal our works with no regard and all we have is ourselves as a community to band together and push things in the right direction and I really want to encourage you guys to be vocal about it don't just silence up because you might get canceled or whatever yeah even me uh, I can I think I can barely reach someone probably but I'm still hopeful that on how small my voice is on the art community I can bring hope to someone who is uh, struggling and just you know very depressed because of this issue yeah it shouldn't have been this way and you know I'm all with you guys in this hard struggle I empathize with all of you artists and uh, aspirants who are just starting it and but uh, please don't lose hope and I think that's our greatest advantage to AI is that we're humans and uh, I think we should help each other and you know move towards a greater future for us uh, as humans I'm not actually against AI and I can honestly see the benefits from it uh, really and it's a technology that can augment our capabilities uh, even from this platform that we are talking now, YouTube, and the actual drawing tabs that we are using like Apple, Samsung, and other softwares like Procreate, uh, Clip Studio Paint, or Photoshop, and all other stuff are result of uh, techn technological advancements that resulted in creating tools to augment our human potential and capabilities, but not to actually replace us. And I hope as well that the people creating these AI companies or the companies that plan to use these tools uh, in the future realizes that AI should be considered as a tool and not as a replacement for humans. I think producing the journey and progress from your work will create a lot more value to it and share the process behind it and not just the end result. I think will create deeper meaning and connection to the people so that's it and i hope you guys find this video informative and see you guys on the next one